Hello XRP, XLM, VeChain. Those are my top three crypto investments. Hello everyone who invested in those. Uh, people that are interested in learning more. Um, so I'm going to start off the video. If you think I'm a financial investor or advisor, let's say advisor. If you think I'm a financial advisor, then you've got a lot of problems in life. You must have rode the short school bus to school every day. Because obviously, if you look here, I'm sitting on the floor in front of a perfectly good couch that I barely use. Oh, <clears throat> I got a my pillow. You ever seen that thing? Like it's called my pillow. I highly suggest get one. I, it just came in the mail today, and I was I put it on the couch earlier and laid on it just a little bit. It's like it's pretty good. Okay, so yeah, I'm a financial advisor. Absolutely, yeah, you can totally tell. Um, so I had somebody be like, "Oh, I, you shouldn't trust anybody who's a financial advisor on YouTube." But I'm thinking, like, you fucking moron! Like, you really think I'm a financial advisor? And you got some problems in your head, and it didn't start with me. It probably started from the day you were born. But anyhow, okay, so now that we've cleared that up, um, I'll just briefly go over some things. I, I got some great uh, feedback from people about how they like uh, the video. It gave important information and this and that, and that's what I do. This is my hobby. Uh, if you've see on, seen the other videos I've made on YouTube, I lift weights. Uh, I drive Ducati motorcycles, um, on and on. It, it, this is just one of the things. I like talking about cryptocurrencies. It's fascinating. So that's pretty much all that my channel is with this video is that. Just my opinion. So, um, what's going on? Um, from what I'm seeing last week, now look, so now we're going to get serious into what it's about. We've got, I got less than eight minutes to make this video. <laughs> Um, last week you got Jerome Powell from the Federal Reserve talking about how we need to get public opinion on cryptocurrencies and stuff and CBDCs. I think that what he, he said CBDCs. We need the public's opinion on central bank digital currencies. Well, uh, I watched a video <laughs> on YouTube that someone played and, um, it was like Jerome Powell made a statement, oh, we won't know more about CBDCs until 2024. So that's three years from today. He said this like three years ago. Look, when these people say that we're exploring, we're looking into, I'm going to give you a heads up. They've already done it. It's time to invest, okay? Or you're pretty much... It may not be late to the party, but because right now XRP is at like, I don't know, let's just say 45 cents. And a lot of the other ones and stuff are. And even if XRP was at $30, look, now I'm going to sidetrack, but I'm going to try to get my attention deficit back on track again. Look, if the crypto is at $30, like, and I'm saying XRP and XLM, even if it goes to $30, that's still a deal because in my opinion, as a non-financial advisor, you know, you got to say all this stuff because you got tards on here and say, oh, well, I think, what kind of financial, what kind of professional are you? People tell me, I said, um, there's 25 million Bitcoin, there's only 21. Okay, so what? Do I look like I fucking care? <laughs> you know, especially about Bitcoin. If you don't know my feelings about Bitcoin, I don't fucking care if there's a hundred or three gazillion Bitcoin in I don't care. That's not my concern. My concern is making my channel how I want to because it's mine. If I make a mistake, okay, cool, you can correct me. I don't fucking care. So anyhow, so um, Jerome Powell talks about, okay, well, I'll just go back. So even if XRP and XLM are at 30 bucks, I feel they're going to hit a 1,000 at least XLM will get hit hit a thousand eventually, and then XRP should hit 10, 20, 30,000 each. So if you bought it for 30 bucks, you're still good, right? So I want to encourage people, this is my opinion, to get XLM or XRP right now 
V-Chain's cool too. I like V-Chain. I'm not going to tell you how much I have of any of my cryptos or how much I spend or whatever. It's my business. Um, V-Chain's a little slow right now, but they made $100 million, I believe. It's good, solid crypto because it's working with BMW, Walmart. Those are the top two they're working with. It's a supply chain logistics crypto. V-Chain will be used, in my opinion, by every business in the world in the future. It's a little slow right now. I think it's at four or five or six cents or whatever. Um, that's a good thing because if you can get V-Chain for like six cents and you buy, let's say, <clears throat> I don't know, 50,000 or 100,000 of them, think about that. If, if you buy 100,000 V-Chain, when it's at three bucks a piece, you got 300 grand. So... <laughs> I'm not saying what I did, but I loaded up on the V-Chain when it's like at four cents, let me tell you. And you just set it and let it go. Let it wait. Same thing with my XRP. I don't have XLM and I need to. Um, I think I missed out on that. Well, it's still at, I don't know, 40 cents or something. It's, it's still a bargain, okay, but I'm not going to get like a ton of them. So back to Jerome Powell. Um... He started talking about the CBDCs, and then all of a sudden, check this out. Like, I think it was today. I don't know if it was yesterday or today, but I don't care about particulars. But anyhow, Ripple puts out a hiring ad because they want to hire people to work on CBDCs with banks. Oh, what a coincidence, right? Jerome Powell announces that last week. Ripple puts out in the uh, ads that they're hiring CBDC people. I think the banks are starting to get set up. I mean, part of me, here's some conspiracy. Part of me is like, they're already set up. But then when Ripple starts hiring people for that, I don't know. Maybe it's just to, maybe they're set up or maybe these people they're hiring is going to help Ripple do this thing really fast and speed it up so we can... Uh, you know, they can utilize XRP on the daily for everybody. Um, I, I don't know, but it's just interesting how those two kind of coincide. One week, the Fed says this. Next week, Ripple's hiring the people that the Fed's talked about. Makes you think, you know what? I don't have evidence for everything, but I got, you know, I know what 2 plus 2 is. And it appears to me that things are moving very fast with the XRP and the Ripple setting up. Ripple claims that in the past couple months, they got 15 more big banks or whatever that they've linked up with. Even during the lawsuit, Ripple now has 15 more players in the game. The rest of the world knows that XRP and Ripple's the way to go. There's drama going on in the United States, okay? Stupid drama. I think some of the big players are trying to squash out you Americans from getting the XRP. I think Uphold has XRP and BitTrue? I don't know. I mean, I got all mine last year. So I haven't bought any since like last year because I'm cool. I got enough. I overextended myself and uh, yeah, I'm in debt. But um, so that's just I wanted to comment today. Like stay strong. Don't sell. Know what you invest in. All the banks do. All the investment houses know. I'm telling you, the IMF, Christine Lagarde, who in the European uh, Central Bank, used to be the IMF president. She knows about Ripple and XRP being number one. <laughs> that is my message for today. For those that are interested, I hope you found it useful. And um, I don't know if there's anything in particular that you wanted me to discuss. I'm not an expert, I'm just some guy that talks about crypto, okay? I've studied it for a year, and I've probably watched, I don't know, 3,000 videos, at least 3,000, maybe 3,300 videos on crypto. So I kinda have a good working knowledge with it. So I wish you luck, and I'll come up with the next video, I think probably, I don't know, tomorrow, the next day, something like that. Um, I, I watch videos from other people, and then I process the stuff, and then I report it. So that's it.